Welcome back to the channel and in this video I am going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all just log in with your credentials and once you are done with this just simply come back over here and the first thing that you have to do you have to just simply click on this development mode and just enable it. And once your development mode is enabled then click on this develop option and then click on this quick lab e-commerce. Now it will take a couple of seconds to load the data. Meanwhile in description box I will share one github link just simply click on that link and then you are able to access this document. Now what you have to do just simply come back over here click on this views option and here you can see orders underscore item. Just open this file remove all this content come back over here and as you can see file name order underscore item. Now just simply scroll down. And I will recommend you just try to copy from the bottom and one more thing I already separated the command accordingly so just copy like this till here copy like that paste over here and then click on this save changes it's done now if you just simply scroll down now where we have to make changes in products file so just simply come back over here click on this products file remove this content just simply scroll down try to copy from the bottom like this copy like this paste over here and then click on the save changes it's done now again just simply scroll down now where you have to make changes in users file so just simply click on this users file remove this content again just simply scroll down copy from the bottom like this paste over here and then click on the save changes it's done now if you just simply scroll down and here you can see where we have to make changes training underscore e-commerce so just simply click on this model and then click on this training underscore e-commerce file it's open now remove this content now just simply scroll down try to copy from the bottom as we are doing just copy like this copy like that come back over here paste and then click on this save it's done now click on this validate it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that it's done now click on this commit now for the message just simply type quick lab then click on this commit option it's done now click on this deploy to production now wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now what you have to do here you can see looker just open this thing in new tab like this way come back over here now here you can see explore just simply click over here now i request you please pay attention here you can see order item just right click over here and open this thing in new tab Again just simply right click over here and open this thing in new tab. As you can see this two tab is created. Now click on this file. Just wait and as you can see this kind of output. Now if you just simply click over here and here you will get same output. Now just simply come back over here. Click on this quick lab task 1. Now switch back to this tab. Click on this quick lab task 2 and now click on this quick lab task 3. Now wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see data is loaded now if we just check for the both the things as you can see it's loaded now you don't have to do anything if you just simply come back to the library instructions and just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score no need to worry because lab take time to update the score this is very surprising that i was able to get a score on my first attempt and i'm again saying because i already tried this lab couple of time and last time i have to just wait for at least five to ten minutes to get a score so if you are not able to get a score no need to worry just wait for at least five to ten minutes and you will get a score with the any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section and i hope you guys like the way i solve this lab so thanks for watching and have a good day guys